Good morning, uh, everybody. Ambassador, thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Alan Garcia. I am the Boeing Captor Team Lead for the Finland and Switzerland fighter campaigns. Uh, a little bit of background about myself. I'm a former naval aviator, having flown multiple uh, platforms within the Navy to include the F-18. Uh, I have about a little over 2,000 hours of flying time. Uh, that includes about 75 combat missions and a little over 450 carrier landings, uh, over 100 of which were at the night time. Uh, my time at Boeing, I spent most of it as an instructor, on a, starting off in the 737, 747, and then moved on to the P-8 and some other platforms before switching into my current role now. So what I'm here to talk about today is why the Block 3 Super Hornet and Growler is the best choice to defend Finland. All right, uh, as most of you are aware, and has been previously mentioned, the USN uh, Boeing team has really enjoyed a 25 plus year history of relationship with the Finnish Air Force. Uh, with uh, uh, dealing with the classic Hornet. Uh, during that time, that relationship has really helped us better understand the concept of operations that Finland conducts uh, and to include the security supply requirements and how we can meet those requirements. Uh, and that's why we feel that our offering is truly the best fit for Finland. Um, it is, the, the, as was mentioned, the Super Hornet is the most combat, uh, or sorry, the most capable combat proven a multi-role fighter out there. It was designed from the start to be that multi-role platform to address the full spectrum offensive and defensive missions in the highest threat environments. Uh, as Jen mentioned, with the open architecture that is in, that's going into the Block 3 Super Hornet, the ability for rapid capability uh, uh, integration and its robust capability insertion plan will keep that Super Hornet uh, in the fight uh, uh, to be able to address those future threats and in the fight for decades to come. Um, and to allow it to uh, operate in the multi-domain operations. So, with that being said, uh, one of those those domains is the electromagnetic spectrum, as Jen was uh, mentioning. That is a twenty. Uh, it's a critical twenty-first century warfighting domain. And why is that important? As was mentioned uh, briefly, was the kill chain. So, in that electromagnetic spectrum, the enemy designs our kill chain uh, to address that. And what the what the growler can do is allow you or allow Finland uh, to um, successfully uh, deny the enemy's kill chain while being able to execute yours. And that's really critical to understand. And what can, all, the only platform that can only do that is, again, the world's premier electronic attack aircraft, the Growler. So no, as mentioned, no Air Force goes into a high threat environment with that platform. Um, it's proven com uh, combination of kinetic, which is lethal, or non-kinetic, uh, weapons uh, gives the commanders the capabilities to address the threats across the entire range of military operations and is a force multiplier for the air, uh, air land, and sea missions. So that's really important to understand there. Um, the other, uh, one of the other reasons why we will, uh, we think, actually, look at this next slide here, uh, to actually give you a snapshot of all the uh, missions that the growl, uh, Super Hornet and Growler combination can address. Again, not only is it the most capable, it's the most versatile. It allows the Finnish Defense Forces to address any uh, type of mission set across the spectrum. Air to air, air to ground, air to surface, and to include electronic attack, and even things like uh, ISR, and even uh, we are providing a tactical aerial fueling capability along <coughs> with uh, our offering, uh, which is inherent to the Super Hornet, which I think is quite, like, frankly, an overlooked uh, capability, uh, given your dispersed operations that you can apply to that. Um, another reason why we really believe that the Super Hornet uh, Growler combination is the best fit for Finland is the ease of transition that was mentioned uh, previously. Uh, the low life cycle cost. The, the Super Hornet fleet has flown more than 2 million uh, flight hours, so we know where those costs lie. Uh, it, is, uh, it is, again, low documented life cycle cost that can, we believe can easily fit within the Finnish uh, current uh, Hornet operating budget. Uh, also, as mentioned, was the trading aspect of it, the ease of transition for both uh, pilot and air career. I won't reiterate that, as was covered by Captain Becker. And then uh, the use of the infrastructure. So one thing that we uh, like to hit on is that you can use up to 60% of the current existing infrastructure uh, to support a Super Hornet Growler fleet. That includes your ground service equipment, maintenance equipment, weapons, and your facilities, not uh, just general facilities, but also those that are utilized in your dispersed basing environment. So which needs to be to my next slide is the ability for Super Hornet and Growler to operate 
in this first basing system in winter conditions for Finland. Uh, Highlighted here, there's a precision landing mode, which allows for precision uh, landing uh, for the aircrew on those type of roads. Uh, shorter takeoff and landing distances as compared to the classic Hornet. Uh, <coughs> slower approach speeds and high seat rate landings, as was alluded to by Captain Decker, uh, as it was uh, going on aircraft carriers. And then the robust landing gear, uh, which uh, again allows for those high seat rate landings. Um, and then the tail hook, which we know that uh, the Finnish Defense Forces during those first operations uses a deployable uh, resting gear, and this aircraft could easily uh, do that. Um, the rugged twin engine design, uh, again, hey, it's always good to have two engines. We really believe a, it, it's a reliability that's needed, uh, especially operating in those type of environments. And uh, again, the minimal uh, maintenance and logistics footprint, uh, I think a good uh, evidence of that is our ability to fly three jets over here uh, and one, bring with one, one tanker and to have along in that tanker to have all our support equipment and maintainers and personnel on that one platform. So, um, and last but not least here, uh, I'll wrap that up with, uh, I believe the, the, the our combination again is uh, the Super Hornet Growler is ideally suited for Finland's operational requirements and is able to perform every mission and tactical spectrum in the harshest environments, land, sea, and air. So with that, uh, I will pass the